Oh, hello, hi everybody, I'm back and guess what, I got some Topps Chrome update. I ordered these things on pre-sale from Target. They got here uh, this morning, as a matter of fact. Sweet. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, I got the, I got like, well, I only got the three, right? Because I wasn't sure about it. There's still stuff like floating around from last year on these Target shelves at my local Targets, right? So I was like, shit, this stuff is going to be printed through the roof. You know what I mean? So maybe the odds are going to be like really, 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 really long. Odds, you know what I mean? And guess what? I was right. Because <laughs> these odds are horrific. I'll show you the side of the box in a minute. To get a number card out of here is going to be like, oh my god, I got a number card. All right, let's look real quick. Um, it's a 200 set checklist this year. So let's take a look at eBay real quick and see what some of these things are selling for. Because, you know, they've been out for like, you know, a minute. <laughs> but let's go ahead and take a look. All right. I didn't know they had Connor Pilkington. I was just looking at this. He sold for like twelve dollars his auto, man. I gotta get me one of those. A Jack Sawinski. The purples. You'll see you'll notice that a lot of these right here too, they're all off center. But that one's not terrible though. That one is. That was not terrible either. That, that's a nice purple water for nineteen ninety nine. If I would have seen that, I would have snatched it up. Somebody got lucky on that one. I think that's a good deal for that. Well, the top to bottom's off pretty bad, but still, I don't really worry about top to bottom too much. Because I don't really think about it because you have to border on the bottoms. I'm always looking at the sides. That's what is noticeable to me all the time. That's not too bad. I I opened one of these. Okay, I got three of these. I opened one, and out of the... There's 40 cards in a box. Out of the 40 cards, two of them were close to being centered. And they were like the two best cards. So I was like, sweet, pretty cool. Um, Bobby Witt base for nine ninety five. That's pretty sweet. Juan Yepes auto for eighteen fifty. That's not bad. It's a sticker, and that looks pretty close to center too. It looks like a nice card. Man, that's a good deal. The Witt purple doesn't look bad either. There does it. That's a respectable price for it, about thirty bucks. That's 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 a decent price for that. Mm, 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 mm. Julio base. Now that's brutal. That's what everybody's going to complain about right there. These base cards. Like all the base cards almost are like that. I got a Julio base. I'll show you in a minute. It wasn't that bad. Mine looks pretty decent actually. There's another one. Look at that. <whistles> the Pena. Purple. That was pretty bad. That was not. 20, but how much the purple paint you go for? I need to look at the price. $25, but that one's way off. The Julio. There's another purple Pena. The Wit. That's a nice seat. Probably maybe because it's a little more centered too. But 30 bucks for that. Yeah, so he says clean on it. He knows it too. That's a nice card. He knows it. The Torque, that's a nice one for 12 bucks. There's a Julio for 50. That's not as bad, but it's still off. It's not as bad as those base ones. We got William Contreras, X-Factor. I mean, the odds on pulling that are rough. Number to 25. Well, he got traded, so I wonder if his card's value. We guys think his cards will go down now that he got traded? Because, I mean, I don't know how's the Braves fan base compared to... Where did he go to? Milwaukee? Well, Milwaukee? I don't know how their fan base is for the Brewers. Uh, Julio Purple. That's a nice one. It's off, but not terrible. It's not, like, ugly. 60 bucks. So that's the one you want. That's the one I want. I'm, I'd like to get a, you know, auto. I'll be good too. Even if it is a sticker of Julio, that'd be nice because I don't have one, and I like to have one because he's like a generational like type player. You know what I mean? So, I have this one. I did get this one, and mine is brutal looking. That one doesn't look half bad. Another whip for thirty. What was that one right there? All right, guys, let's get cracking. All right, CJ for nine ninety nine. The best offer was is that uh, there's a wit right there. For $7.99, it was a little bit off. Not too bad, though. Those other wits that were 30 they were pretty good. They were definitely gem mint contenders. All right, let's get into this, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, see. Real quick, I'll show you my other ones. I opened that one box. There's the cruise. I was telling you how bad mine was off. All my purples were brutal. I mean, they were way off. These almost look like they were refractory, but they don't say refractor on them. Like the Shoei, this these two bases were like the closest ones I had to being centered. 
All right, it's not a refractor, but I think it is. That's why I'm not sure. The refractor is the same on the box, like one out of 150 packs. Then my Julio rookie is not. See, it's not terrible, but it's it's off. But it's not like brutal compared to like a lot of the other ones I got. They were they were just yeah, they weren't good at all. Take this plastic off, and I'll show you the pack odds real quick. They're kind of hard to see with the plastic on there. All right, the refractors. Look at that refractor. One out of 150 packs. Now there's your first numbered card right there. It's probably gonna be your aqua, right? I don't think the refractor is gonna be numbered. Aqua's one out of 179 packs. And there's what 10 packs in a box. That's one out of 17 boxes. Basically 18. X Factor out of 450, the blue out of 226, a green. The autos are one out of 60. So that's one auto, one base auto, not a number, one base auto out of every six boxes. So that's actually pretty decent. That's not too bad. But considering these boxes are 50 bucks a pop, kind of sucks. <laughs> that's why I got these today from Wally. These are 90 bucks, and they got two autograph cards in every box. So. Got two of those, so we'll be ripping those up here shortly. And by shortly, I mean tonight. <laughs> ripping everything. I got the uh, Amazon uh, Prime up on the side right there. We got the game on. Of course, I got to keep the volume off, right? I'm probably not going to be paying attention to it because I'm going to be cracking packs. Jonathan Villar, see what I'm telling you? Look at that. Every one of them. Oh, there's one that's not too bad. And it's a rookie. I don't know who that cat is. And Cesar Hernandez is the first purple. You get 10 purples, guys. And I got every freaking chrome rookie I get that's like centered. I'm sleeving it because <laughs> I'm sure they'll fix it. And because they're going to keep printing this stuff. Because if they're not like, there's not going to be like any numbered cards. Right? Because you're not getting any. Unless you're really, really lucky. So they can just keep printing these purples. And the inserts and everything else. All day until their heart's desire. You know what I mean? And Not too bad on that one. A Geo. Torque. Not terrible, but not great either. I'll put that one to the side. Devers. Now, all these inserts, they have that kind of refractor glow to them, but of course they're not. But they do have that little refractor feeling to them. I got this guy out of my other one. Top to bottom. Side to side is not bad, but that top oof, is almost non-existent. So not a bad one there, though. The Helio Ramos. I don't know anything about that cat. I think he was hurt a lot this past year. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. We'll just say I'm wrong. Uh, Chris Archer, Sonny Gray, not bad centering on that one. Oh, we got another Julio, that's two. And a Joey Wentz. Let's trade places on those cats, will we? Another Julio, that's two Julios. Two Megas and two Julios. I watched the guy rip five of these boxes, and he got one Julio. So I got two. So, oh, this is, a, oh, this is the, the debut. Okay, that's the difference. I was going to say it ain't two base. The other one was a base. That one was the rookie debut. Okay, I don't feel so special now. Brought me down to size. Crushed me. Oh, how good am I? I'm so cool. I'm so lucky. <laughs> what do I got here? We got an insert coming up. Nick Castellonis. Carl Yastrzemski. And we got behind that Adam Frazier. That's right, because I've seen it. Not bad on that one. Top to bottom, but the side looks pretty good. Chris Bassett is the purple, and it's off. Pool holes. Well, look at that dome on him. Look at that. Dude. Bro. 
Richie Palacios, a tribe man, tribe guy. The Padres, what's up with the Padres, dude? Signed Xavier Bogutz from the uh, William Woods. That's got a print line in it too. Not only is it off center, but it's got a it's got a line going through it. That sucks. Royce Lewis. Yeah. There we go. Not too bad. Top to bottoms off, but whatever. Yeah, that's I think. See, it looks like a refractor, right, guys? But it's not. It's just all the inserts got that shine to it. Kyle Schwarber. Royce is way off, too. Man, that's a shame. I like. Well, he was hurt all year. When he played, I think he did pretty good, though. The Twins getting Vasquez a catcher. When the, when the Tribe couldn't get Murphy. And they didn't get, Oakland didn't get nothing. I don't think they got enough for Sean Murphy. Really disheartening that the Indians couldn't put together, with Guardians couldn't put together something better than that to get that cat. You know what I mean? That's very discouraging. Pena, the rookie debut. The other one I got is a regular rookie, I believe. Will Smith, another way off. Not even close. This one's way off, too. Wow. Man. I don't have to see that back one. I want to see what that purple one is until the last, right? I've not seen anybody pull. That one looks pretty. Uh, yeah, it's not terrible. It's not too actually the top the box. That's probably one of the best ones out of this box as far as I That might be on the money actually. Man, there's a torque. That one doesn't look bad either. Uh oh, we got a. That one looks really good. It's a rookie debut, but still it looks nice. Okay, okay. Oh, there we go. Then a torque generation now, and we got a torque purple. It is. <laughs> I was like, holy crap! I was just saying that just because I had like two torques in a row. One torque, you torque, I torque, we torque. And it looks pretty good, except for the top to bottom. The side to side. Like I said, I look at the side to side more than I do the top to bottom. Nice. I like it. I like that one. If I can make it work like that, I'm getting a lot of this cat, ain't I? Kazuku Katoth. Kazuku Katoth. I know I butchered another torque. What the? I sent the torque auto coming. I sent the torque. I don't know who this is. I don't know anything about this dude. We got. Uh oh. Jorge Soler. Eh. I didn't see the purple on the back. You guys might have, but I didn't see. The number cards are going to be few and far between on these boxes. Two boxes, nothing numbered. That means they're going to be printing this stuff for like weeks, <laughs> months, years. Nice Bryson's thought right there. Not bad. I like that one. Mariana Rivera. And the last purple. This one looks pretty decent too. The top, the bottoms on my purples have been off, but the sides on some of them. The rookies, right? Not bad there. Take it. Next box. So you kind of get to see. This stuff is going to be. If it wasn't for the purples, man. be freaking brutal but you're getting nothing else but base and I'm not really that big on these 
those inserts right there. Yeah, they look nice on. They look better here than they do in the like the die cut form. Got the Texas guy in the back. Yeah. Joe Ryan, like Joe Ryan. MJ Melendez, nice rookie. Fidel Brujan, don't see his too many. That's a good thing. And Brad Miller for the Tex, the Texans, Texas Rangers. Way OC. Way OC. Way, way, way OC. Got a Philly. Bryson Stott purple. Alec Thomas. I like Alec Thomas. Not too bad. Not like brutal. Jack Sawinski. Shoei. We got a rookie here. Bryson Stott. I didn't see it, guys. I swear I didn't see it. That's my spidey senses. It's a nice one, too. It almost looks... Ref well, I guess it's a purple, so I can't see it. It's kind of refractory. Nice looking one right there. Let's leave that Shoei up, too, because every Shoei deserves a sleeve. I didn't see who it was, but it's a Met. There's nobody good on the Mets, so. <laughs> Sorry if you're a Mets guy. You got good players, just no good rookies, right? Maybe you do. I don't know. I don't really watch your team. And we got, oh, it's an Astro. Nick Goodrum. Don't know that Astro. And it's OC. Kwani. Got to sleeve up my guy. That's my guy. Hey, my guy. Hey, my guy. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. It kills me not to PC every Quan card I get. That one I can. It's not bad to look at. Good play, huh? Come on, eat a uh, Strider. Carlos. Boy, he went to... How much money he get with San Fran? Good choice by him, though. And we got, oh, William Woods. Not bad looking, though. Not terrible. Not terrible. Again, the top to bottom on it. Dr. Doolittle. Bobby Witt. I haven't seen much of him. My boxes have been Bobby Witt light. And it's brutal too, ain't it? Oh, there's another Julio. Come on, give me a purple Julio behind that one. Look at that Witt though. God. Man. Come on. Look at that Julio too. Austin Nola. Man. 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 So I have pulled some Julios. So I'm very fortunate on that. Got a pink torque. Did get a Pena. Base. Two bases. Well, one rookie debut and I think the other one was a base. Couple torques. Oh, look at that. Coming out of the box. Look at that. Jeez. What the? In the trash heap it goes. Say yo. Oh. Way off. Oh, there's a trouty. Got a dot on there and it ain't coming off. In the I say the top to bottom doesn't bother me as much, but on this one it kind of eh, still doesn't. MJ Melendez purple. That's a nice one. Not brutal to look at. I like the fact that it's got you know Bobby in there too. So that's a that's a nice car right there. I like that one actually with him and Bobby in it. 
the Royals had actually end up keep. <laughs> almost said that with a straight face. The Royals actually end up keeping them guys. Whew. I almost got it out. <laughs> Whew. Talk about renting the players. Ain't no way. Ain't no way hell they're resigning them cats. <laughs> almost, I almost said it. I almost got it out of the straight face. Hey, I'm a, I'm a Cleveland guy, so I know what you, I know I know your feelings. You know, what I mean, I know what you're going through. You're losing all your top guys. Socks, AJ. So we kept Jose. Probably gonna lose Bieber here. What was the purple? Bryson Stott, another purple. Another one. And that's his actual rook. The other one was the debut, right? Luke Voigt. Alec Thomas. Renee Pinto. Well, look at that. Don't get too much more off-center than that, does it? Jeremy Pena. Second debut. And Michael Fulmer. Last pack. No numbered cards. No refractor. All in these purples. No auto. Stuff gonna be tough pulling, brother. <laughs> Look at the Ramos. <whistles> Hooper Hummel. There we go. That's not. That's a nice one. Trouty. And the last one is gonna be Hunter Dozer. I showed you in the video what I got out of the first box. You see what I got out of this, guys? So that would be 150 bucks off of Target, you know. Um, tax, you got to use the red card, of course, all that stuff. So you guys get an idea of what I paid for that. Um, some nice, you know, it's a 200-player checklist. So it got some nice star player cards in this. All the top rookies I hit, at least one of, I'd say. Um, you know, some of the better purples. MJ Melendez. I like that Stott. The Torque. Stott again. William Woods, the rookie. So, I mean. But there's no, like, number. Uh, it feels like it's just missing something. Is it just me? What do you guys think about this stuff? I mean, I'm not buying any more of it. I just buy the singles that I want off eBay. I showed you the prices that some of the stuff's going for. I don't think any of it's really outrageous as far as a price I wouldn't pay. The bad thing about that is when you buy your singles off of there like that with, with some product like this, so, is that you're not going to hit that amazing card. That's always the bad part, right? But then at the same time, I spent 150 bucks. I could have bought the Julio. For forty five forty nine ninety nine, the purple. I could have got some autos. I don't have any autos. I could have got my Pilkington auto, the Julio, some other autos. I could have got the freaking Yepes auto. Add it up. I could have got a lot of nice cards for one hundred fifty bucks just buying the singles. <sighs> That's the way to go. This stuff is just tough pulling. It's ridiculous. They got hobby boxes of these things coming out. I'm not sure where they're going to be priced at, but I'm sure it's going to be too much. Um, the hell with Fanatics. They want to jack the price up and everything. They want to jack the print runs up and everything and make everything just like ridiculous pull rates and stuff like that. So, you know, go ahead and, you know, buy, buy a card company, uh, buy all your licenses, and then destroy it. Go ahead. <laughs> To where none of your collectors want to buy your crap anymore because it's just impossible to hit anything. So, 
Good luck, guys. Good luck with that. Because I think singles is going to be the way to go. We always need uh, people running brakes, right? People are going to be buying in all these expensive spot and brakes, and they're going to get rid of their stuff. eBay, there it is. Get, get those guys with singles. Buy them up. Uh, that's it, guys. You see right here, I'm going to be doing some more of this stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I don't know if I'm going to do the stadium club. I might do the stadium club next. I don't know. I got two stadium club blasters. I bought two platinum Bowman Platinum 2022s today at Wally. Two Bowman Mega Chrome Mega Boxes. And I bought two Topps Holiday Mega Boxes. Um, all that came up to about 400 bucks. I mean, these things were like 90 bucks, though. But they have two autos in them. And they're... here's the hoping. All right, guys. That's it. Bye for now. Off to the next. Later. Pa 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 p